video number two in our steak series. If you haven't seen the steak video, check it out. We're cooking a steak right now. But now, some complimentary asparagus. The simple and easy way. So when I say simple and easy asparagus, I'm not kidding. All you need is the asparagus. I took it out of the rubber bands, cut the bottoms off about this far, or just the little white part to keep the tender asparagus shoots. That's all we want. And all we need is that, some pure olive oil, and we're good to go. The pan is heating, so we're going to just pour in a generous amount of olive oil to cover the whole base of our pan. And then simply put in your asparagus. Now, we're just gonna put our lid on, and it's pretty much as simple as that. Stay tuned as we flip it just a few times. And the only thing I like on my asparagus is a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So I'm not adding garlic, that's certainly an option, certain things you could try. But we're just gonna uh, tend to our asparagus to make sure that it's cooked perfectly as a great complimentary dish to our New York perfectly cooked pan fried steak. Now the real key distinction to making great asparagus is not undercooking it and not overcooking it. And so if the asparagus becomes soggy and flimsy, you know that you have overcooked it. So right now our asparagus shoots are still very firm. And so our goal is to get them perfectly cooked, warm and soft, but while maintaining a level of firmness to not where they become soggy and flimsy. I would argue this, that most people overcook their asparagus. And like steak and a lot of things, even once you pull it, it still continues to cook because of just the momentum that it has from the heat after you pull it off. Currently, this asparagus has been going for three minutes on medium heat, a six. And so we're gonna let it go a little bit longer and get it to that perfect doneness. So we're at about five minutes with our asparagus, just in olive oil, and our goal is to get it cooked to a perfect temperature without becoming too soggy and flimsy. Let's see the difference. This one, you can see it's probably underneath the oil and you can see it getting a little flimsy plus it's making the outside a little bit soggy. This particular piece of asparagus is almost perfect. It's still maintaining its rigidity but uh, has now been cooked in here for a perfect amount of time I would say. So right about here, there's a kind of a mixture of how long these have been cooked based on the ones that were on the base and the top. But I would say that these are done. Five to six minutes, medium heat, and here's my final touch. Mediterranean sea salt. Telly cherry black pepper grinder. And that's it. Heat's off, dinner served. Remember, it's still continuing to cook a little bit until we get it out of here and even still. So we're pulling it a little bit early, trying to make sure we don't overcook and make them soggy and flimsy, but we want them firm and well cooked. So our meal is complete. Asparagus, complemented by some steak. If you haven't seen the steak video, just go ahead and click on the steak or look in the links in the description below. Your asparagus, just with salt and pepper only, some olive oil, simple and easy. Don't overcook the asparagus. You want a slight firmness with it completely done. Click on the steak to watch the steak video. So thanks so much for watching this video. Normally on this channel we're shooting uh, vlogs, travel videos, and cooking videos. So subscribe if you want to see that kind of stuff. Leave a comment below and hit that like button if you don't mind. And other than that, we'll talk soon. Man, you just saw the uh, asparagus video, but check out the steak video. I think you'll like that. And uh, other than that, later. So it turns out I was questioning whether or not doneness is actually a word. And uh, if you were questioning that too, it is. Doneness. The condition of being cooked to the desired degree. Thank you, Merriam-Webster. Boom.